today's project is a pair of Shimano LX M570 shifters. I bought this in a part slot and uh, it wasn't detailed that these were working or not working. Uh, I always imagine that they are not and indeed they aren't. Left, um, uh, the dial doesn't seem to be moving. So on these I'm going to truly do a rebuild of both sides so there will be a part one and part two. Uh, today I'm going to go on the first one that's not working and that's the, uh, the free speed uh, shifter. So let's get started. So we're going to undo this uh, back, move the screw, remember to untension the, uh, the inside, take off that back cover. So we're going to remove this um, barrel just and I think we're going to need to take off this cover at one point. Probably once we've removed this. So there's something, uh, there's like kind of like these blockers blocking the, uh, the bolt. I think I'm going to try and bend them back. Okay, so it looks like this one uh, undoes anti-clockwise now that I've opened it I get a better look there's this plate that's on the top and it's like tensioned down so I'm going to move that on the side for now oh, that'll make it easier and you can take off this uh, lever that was uh, tensioning this uh, the uh, spring. So underneath that is a uh, bushing, two sided. Okay, so there's a spring underneath. I'm not quite sure what it was latching on. I think it was on this part here though. So I'm going to take off this lever now. So I'm going to remove that uh, little circuit. It's come off. Lift that over, I'm going to take off the spring. Underneath that spring there's another uh, circuit. We're removing this uh, thin washer that was sitting on the top. So I'm going to start to lift this over. It's come off. So there's two pulls to remove. Fish shave actually. Taking off the other pull. Taking off this uh, silver bushing that was going through the sprocket. The copper washer is uh, kind of sitting on the plastic, it's like a groove. So now we're going to lift this up and this is going to relieve the tension of the spring that's underneath. And we're taking off that spring. And now there's just the uh, kind of like a pivot, cross shaped pivot with grooves in it again. So we're going to take that off on the top and underneath it there's a, another washer. I'm going to give this a clean and I will see you later on. I already undid pull on this lever. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to put that spring back on top uh, and put this part back on. And then the uh, tiny little clip. Okay, so given everything a wipe down and a clean, uh, we're now going to proceed on the rebuild. So I'm going to start off with this first part or the last part that I took off. Uh, so on top of this, you have the uh, a thinner spacer bushing. And then on the uh, top of that, you're going to put this uh, kind of sprocket part that sits on the top. I put grease in between everything. We're going to install the spring. Now you'll see on the spring on the interior there's a tip there and then there's the uh, part here that's kind of like a hook. So the tip we're going to put into that irregular hole that's underneath. So there's only one and it's here. Okay so the easiest way that I found uh, to do this is that we're going to put this uh, towards here and uh, you're going to see on this part here, that needs to be here after, uh, with this tensioned. The only way I found out of doing this, or at least the easiest way, 
is that we're going to move this a little bit so we're going to give this a bit of room and um, is to without putting anything on yet we're going to grab this spring and we're going to need to hold everything down until it's really annoying but it is the only way that I've managed to do this and then we're going to bring that spring um, towards there okay so I've let go uh, you need to make sure that that goes back in place while holding everything so now I'm going to put back the bolt that's underneath here there's the uh, bushing that goes down into this part sitting on top of that was uh, this copper this copper washer so make sure everything holds down and not moving so while I'm working on other stuff and to stop it from uh, slipping out I have uh, put this plier on it to keep it in place so now we're going to put the pull uh, back on to these, uh, the pivot facing this way this pivot uh, this pull first and put that down there's then uh, another pull to put on the top we're going to put the plate back on uh, so that pivoting part there is going to go through the hole and uh, the middle hole is uh, with the slight cross or teeth is going to slot in manage to get it on and pushing down still to give you a visual of how it's supposed to be there's a small circlip that's going to go at the bottom here we're going to put that on straight away and that way we can uh, more or less let go of this part after that we're going to put this washer down we're going to put a small amount of grease again on this pivot and then we're going to put the this uh, return spring back and so that goes through that hole on the top and it's going through and it's going kind of like behind those pulls so it goes on the top and that's essentially going to go around at one point and uh, the spring will tension it the uh, clip that's on the top of that okay so for the next part it's a test of patience I've tried many different various ways to mm, to try and do this easier there just isn't one so you're gonna have to accept the facts there's this lever which has a bend in it that needs to go towards here inside uh, that part the bend into here and then eventually this one's going to go on the top the one with the uh, pull on to it and you're going to need to tension that towards this way like that and that's going to go on the top of this lever like so and the pull needs to be facing going towards this way because that's essentially going to be moving this um, cam towards there changing the shift now the issue is not only do we have to do that at the same time but also in between the two there's this return spring and I've not been able to find another better way to do this we're going to install the nylon bushing the uh, the, there's like a thicker part on one side here they're both going into the lever and the thicker part goes on to this side we're then going to take the spring and the one with the uh, tip on the interior is going to go into that hole right here so I'm going to put that on for now okay so you need to make sure this is all flat so this one uh, on there's like an F stamped on my one that's going to go on uh, this side so it's going to go into the bushing uh, towards roughly here now there's no way of doing this really um, this uh, see this part of the spring the hook that we need to bring it up all the way over here and behind this while holding everything at the same time it's it's just horrible to do it really is I'm going to try and do it now on the camera and what makes it really annoying and frustrating is that you're going to have also this pull that's going to constantly get in the way of the uh, of the spring so I'm going to try and do this now on camera okay so I've got that on there you go this is not the hard part the hard part is coming up we now need to 
hold everything down, make sure the spring is flat as possible. Uh, make sure this is uh, also not in the, in the wrong place. Hold all this down and you're gonna need to kind of hold it with your fingers here flat. It's just, it's horrible. It's really difficult to do. There, but there's no other way of doing this. Try and get it like this in this position. So now we're going to try and put this in. Oh man, my finger's in the way, so I can't even do it like that. But I'm, it's, it's just so painful, this. It really is. So now I'm getting it like this, and that, that bend part needs to go, like I said before, into here, and you need to try and get that... Uh, you need to try and get that pull as well in the right position. I think what's easier is maybe pushing that bolt down and kind of uh, get it all in at the same time. It's very, very difficult. When I, yeah, okay, I've got it. Uh, when this started to return back, the sprocket kind of bent into the right position. Man, just hold, to, to the, hold this as if this was your life. Wait, this now needs to be tensioned in the right way to go on the top of that so there's like two little parts that slot in i mean that's not not complicated to figure out i'm now tightening down i'm going to hope that this all works correct so putting that bolt down okay i'm tightening i'm tightening all right it's done uh, you really need to make sure that this spring is not overlapping underneath, otherwise there's going to be an immense amount of play. I did do it one time uh, where the spring was overlapping, I was able to kind of wedge it out, but you really do need to get everything in the right uh, order. The uh, This part here, the spring on that little pull, uh, slipped out and it meant that uh, the, the shifter was not clicking into second gear, but thankfully I don't need to undo this, I can actually just uh, slip it back on from the exterior. So now we're going to put the um, mech back onto the, the main body. So this part goes uh, through here, I believe. I think it might even need to go first. Putting down these screws. Cable housing, uh, barrel adjuster. Put the cap on. Uh, there's a hole right here at the bottom on that nylon part and the tip of that once this is uh, working properly with the spring inside should uh, sit on the top here and we're going to just test that now to make sure it's working yeah okay all in working order i hope this helped you repair your lx shifter i will post up a link uh, below once I do part two, so the uh, right side or the um, nine speed side. Uh, I hope this helped you though and until next time, peace.